Okay, welcome back guys. Sorry for the abrupt stop in uh, the previous video. I want to continue with DMC. For DMC, let's check out... I think it will revisit this range first. Okay, but we're very near that. Right here. Okay. Uh, I feel that this is going to be your support. And uh, we're very near that, and I think, uh, well, wherever we are at the moment, I think it is already a good entry price, considering the overall uh, trend here in your RSI. Look, we're already moving upwards while you did a double bottom for DMC. Okay, so in case it will go further downwards, I think the lowest it could take would be 5 peso level. But we're starting to move up now, so I think um, that's a good sign. AEV. AEV is, well, it broke this support, right? We had the support in this range. But it broke that. And what I fear is that, you know, when price breaks down your previous support can act as a resistance so we might even have some more downward movements here in case it goes down some more let's check the 39.78 first because i see in this range look at that price was um, hit multiple times in this area and uh, there was a bounce, right? Also, it created a, a very, very, um, yeah, like a sideways movement within this range. And then this area was your support and you had your resistance right here. So I feel strongly that this, uh, just in case it goes down uh, some more, 39.78 would be our support right there. RLC no volume let me see was there a volume yep i think there's a volume is starting to pick up here you're already at the oversold so let's monitor this price level first before we start entering maybe we can wait for some more green candlesticks to come out um, probably another green candlestick to support that uh, but looking at your historical information yeah, there was a resistance formed in this level, uh, at this area, this one, one, two, also three here, which became a support when we started breaking that. Now it's revisiting it, and I think it will just stabilize within this range first. And another one is, of course, you're at the oversold level. So uh, put that in your watch list. I feel that this is going to bounce anytime soon. Okay, ISM is, well, while it's true that, it's um, starting to move up right here, right? Starting to move up, but no volume. But I wonder, for this part, right, there was a significant volume right here. I think some insiders already know something that we do not know. That's why they've started investing here. So I feel that it will just stabilize within this range. No one is giving up yet, right? So after this uh, significant volume here, there were red days. But the volume of the selling still very uh, right now it is uh, very very slim so i think people are starting to accumulate some more here and your rsi is also showing some signs of uh, recovery so i think 151 for me is uh, uh, the nearest support bloom bloom is or has this area as the nearest support okay this is our support where we are actually at 
we're very near that support area. So in case, uh, watch out for 7.84. That's where we see a possible uh, stabilization first. Right now, your RSI is not giving us any signals yet. But I'm uh, just looking at um, the previous candlesticks. You had uh, some stabilization here, some support. And uh, this one as well was your resistance area. Okay, so let's see if uh, by the time it reaches 7.84, we see a much better uh, sign here in our RSI. So unless you get a yes from all these, do not enter yet, okay? Even though your candlesticks have uh, created a support or a resistance in that level, it's not enough uh, basis yet that you get in. So I suggest get a confirmation from RSI, from candlesticks, and then support and resistance so that you have a strong conviction before you enter into a particular stock. But right now, this is tentative. Anything can change. I am just plotting it here for the only reason that we see here. So basis is just right now. The candlesticks formed at this area where you had a possible bounce each time uh, it got hit right there. Nickel. Nickel for me is, uh, well, the nearest support is 2.07. 2.07, there you have it. This area right here. Uh, 2.07 uh, as well became a support here so each time that area is hit there is a bounce so I think it will also uh, respect that in the coming days so if there's not enough volume yet still sideways for me before it goes up but you know what look at today's volume there's a sudden spike there's a sudden increase in volume while the price was moving down here so i think uh, institutions are starting to or big companies are starting to uh, look at nickel as an attractive position that's why they're already investing here tell this used to be the support that we have Maybe this is just a slight overshoot, but we are actually uh, moving at the support level. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. Where I changed it to a weekly chart so that it's uh, clearer. On a weekly chart, you already have a bullish divergence. So 982.50 would be an area to watch out as a possible support. AGI. Okay. 8.16. 8.16. Okay, there you have it. So I see a support here. Uh, very hard to tell here. But it had created a support in this range before it broke that support. And this one as well. So this used to be a support used to be a resistance we broke that resistance created a support again it broke it but uh, when we moved uh, to the upside it also created a significant point here in the 8.06 so i feel that if we are going to reach that level again uh, we will experience a bounce so for now let's plot 8.06 as our next support i'm moving it to a weekly chart because sometimes it's uh, your daily is uh, creating so much noise there. Okay. Uh, ABS. ABS for me, I think you're very near a resistance. Uh, this is our resistance for ABS. Um, I think the game or the play is uh, almost over. It will rest potentially at the 19.77 level. Okay. So I feel that it will dip 
and it will rest. Your RSI is showing some signs of weakness here. Look at that. Moving downwards. MWC. Okay. I think it's a good area to try out for MWC. Hold on. Okay. I think MWC will still rest. You're just moving. So I'm now at the weekly chart, guys. So this is your MA20, right? Moving downwards. But we never really have successfully broke. We have not broken it. See, we're just moving within that range and we haven't really touched that line. So I feel that this will just um, probably uh, create a support at the 10.62 first before it moves up. Okay, 10.62. I think the market will give us a chance right there. FGen. FGen is uh, still on a decline, and let us see if this one right here will sustain. Look at this. This is your resistance, your resistance before, uh, support before, okay? When price broke, um, there was a break breakdown of price started moving up here that was your resistance attempting to break that then I think uh, I think this is a what pattern is this I think it's a cup and handle a cup and handle pattern uh, just correct me if I'm wrong but that's what we see and then we were able to break it now we're revisiting it the stock is resting and 16.83 uh, for me is the next support so check that out what about Cebu Pacific on a weekly chart uh, this is what we see as our support it might continue to decline and uh, will most likely give you a chance at the 69.35 level so we're not safe yet okay see that selling is still happening but I don't think it's going to be that far before we uh, see some bounce happening for Cebu Pacific. Look at this. Very obvious lines here. Resistance. So your resistance can act as a support. Okay. I think that is it for now, you guys. Thank you for watching our video. If you have not subscribed yet, please do subscribe so you are updated uh, with our daily market insights. And I'm still... Uh, you know conceptualizing and what other uh, videos I can share to you that will be very insightful in your money management saving and investing in the stock market or if you have some suggestions go ahead and drop a comment so I can also uh, prepare those for you in the meantime you have a great day you have a great night wherever you are in the world thank you for watching bye bye for now